Yes. I would like to apologize to my wife's family for the love. I'm sorry that this happened to you and everybody. I'm sorry my kids have to go through all this. And I love my wife. Thank you. Okay. I've been guilty. And you agree that you did honor about November 2nd, 2006 in Mistake County and lawfully and intentionally caused the death of Candy Sheila Burke, another human being? Yes, sir. Of Candy Berg, just so your honor could see what she looked like. Um, she was 24 years old at the time of the murder. She lived with Mr. Berg out at their home in White City. Uh, they had three kids uh, who were four, three, and two at the time. Uh, those children are now in foster care. Uh, we believe that she was seated in a chair in their television room uh, when the murder occurred. Um, we believe that she was not able to fight back and that she did not fight back. Six to eight blows on two, two spots in the back of her head, one on the, the right side just to the back, one on the left side just to the back. Uh, and the conservative estimate was that there were three to four blows on each side, and they, but they were of such a focused nature and in such a small area, dumped her at Agate Lake, and then proceeded uh, to burn uh, burned the evidence of the crime. He burned the chair, he burned his clothing, uh, he burned uh, the blanket, and also very likely burned a vacuum cord that, uh, that he used. One of the things that came up in the trial which makes this case even, even more heartbreaking is that he, told, he made a statement to his sister when he went to Nevada, and he said that he continued to hit Miss Berg uh, because he did not want the kids to hear her screaming. So he continued to hit her, he wanted to make her quiet, and he even admitted to the sister that he put a, a vacuum cord around her neck, kind of at the end of the assault, to try and, and make her quiet. Uh, I believe it's likely he burned that vacuum cord as well. Uh, this is probably, I think speaking for the entire prosecution team, as well as a number of folks in law enforcement, this is one of the sadder cases we've ever seen. Uh, just because of the children involved who are now very likely to be adopted out to family members, uh, Candy's physical limitations, uh, that she was unable to fight back, and just the general facts of the case, uh, the, the brutal nature of the assault. We're happy that Mr. Burke is taking responsibility before trial. That's worth something. That at least he's taking... had asked in our office, read it. You took my daughter's life. She also was a sister, a granddaughter, a niece, and a mother of your children. She had a big heart and always wanted to help everyone. She loved her kids with all her heart. The kids will never get to know their mom and how much she loved them. Even with her disability, she was so full of life and never gave up. She did not have a chance. You are the biggest coward. As her mother, I want you to live with this for the rest of your life. Also, her grandmother and uncle would like to tell you that we hope that you get what you deserve every day on this earth. We can't off because of the nature of the problem. But we've never suffered the pressures that these two felt and had in their lives. Just a terrible, sad situation. There is no excuse or, or acceptable reason for this, but uh, Mr. Burke has always accepted responsibility for since the first.